Hi guys, we've partnered with GearBest.com to bring you a review of one of MSI's newer gaming laptops, the GL62M7REX. This entry-level gaming laptop is currently available at GearBest for a discounted price of $979 for the 1TB version. This is MSI's entry-level gaming laptop to those who like portable PC gaming on a tighter budget. Let's start with the specs. An Intel i7-7700HQ 4-core 8-threads processor clocked at 2.8GHz. 8GB of DDR4 2400MHz RAM upgradable up to 32GB. NVIDIA GTX 1050Ti graphics with 4GB of GDDR5 type of VRAM. Our review unit comes with 1TB hard drive at 7200 RPM. An optional upgrade to 128 or 256 PCIe SSD is available for added cost or you can upgrade it on your own. It has a 15.6 inch 60Hz advanced TN panel for display. It's the higher quality panel with better viewing angle. And it comes pre-installed with 64-bit Windows 10. Our review unit came with a Windows Chinese single language pack edition, so we did a fresh OS install. The moment you look at it, you know it's a gaming laptop. From the choice of black and red color combination, angled edges, and the keyboard. It has that look of most of the gaming laptops in the market. We like the overall look of the unit. The red keyboard backlight accents the near black chassis. But while it does look great, it does feel a bit plasticky. And the matte finish is a smudge magnet. Smudges that you can't just wipe off with cloth. It weighs 2.2 kilograms. For a gaming laptop, it's not too heavy. But be warned. That doesn't include the power adapter, which in itself is heavy, adding weight to the whole setup. Overall, a complete setup with a gaming mouse, the power adapter, and some cables would weigh around 3 kilograms. Let's take a look at the details. Keyboard is by Steel Series with chiclet keys. The keys are good with enough travel to them. It's about 10% smaller than a full-size keyboard. The main pad takes most of the space it's almost full-sized, with narrower gaps between keys. On the other hand, both the arrow keys and the numeric keypad are a little too cramped on the right. As for the touchpad, it's a mix. It's wide and responsive. The issue lies with placement, which is quite common among laptops. It sits pretty close to the keyboard that it's almost impossible to type without touching it. Thankfully, function key plus F3 toggles the trackpad. The ports and their locations are what you'd expect. On the right panel are power jack, SD card slot, and a USB port. The left panel is more populated with the Kensington lock, gigabit ethernet port, two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI and MIDI display ports for connecting up to two external monitors, a USB Type-C port, and the mic and headphone jack. As for wireless connectivity, it has Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. It's marketed to having an IPS level display. The 15.6 inch 1080p TN display is bright enough for most cases. The non-reflective coating works well even on brighter locations, except when outdoors. Daylight on overcast days causes partial reflection on the screen, which is not really that surprising. The viewing angle is actually good. It's still workable at around 60 degrees from the middle. Finally, the plastic chassis is sturdy. The hinge is tight, though it has a certain wobble if you apply a bit force on it. Speaker is located on the front panel, and there's not much to say about it other than it's not that good. It's relatively low even at full volume. Opening the case reveals the internals. There are two DIMM slots, and as mentioned earlier, the default 8GB of DDR4 can be upgraded up to 32GB. A PCIe slot is also available if you want to install the PCIe-based SSDs. The battery isn't designed to be replaced by the owner. If you want it replaced, you have to send it to MSI's authorized partners. During actual usage, the battery lasts for about approximately 4-5 to five hours. This is a mix of both basic use, browsing, watching YouTube videos, listening to music, and playing games, etc. MSI's Dragon Center comes with a system monitor to help you keep track of the laptop's status. 
When the fan throttles to keep the CPU and GPU cool, it becomes a bit noisy. It's not that loud, you just notice it. And of course, the juiciest detail all of you have been waiting for, the games. So let's play some games on it. We've tested five games with different varying results. Let's start with Dota 2. It has a hard time hitting 60 frames per second at ultra settings. For CSGO, on the other hand, it plays smoothly. Not surprising for a five-year-old game. With playing Absolver, we had to turn the settings from ultra to medium to reach 60 frames per second, but not always. The frame count sometimes drops to 30 depending on what's on the screen. As for PUBG, this early access game is known to have some bugs. It is far from optimized. We've had to set it low to make it playable and crash free. Now for Overwatch. Finally, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. You can max out the settings, but it'll barely go above 30 frames per second. You'll have to lower it a bit to reach 60 frames per second. Generally, you won't encounter any problem playing old and new games with it. You just have to give up that sweet 60 frames per second on newer releases. The GTX 1050 Ti discrete GPU can keep up, but only barely, with the high requirements of graphically demanding games. The MSI GL62M 7 Rex is an entry-level gaming laptop that does the minimum of what you'd expect for its price. It looks good, with good enough build quality. The minimal matte finish, while a smudge magnet, is better than other laptops in the same category and price range. Meanwhile, the advanced TN panel actually delivers on its promised better viewing angle. As for performance, it's what you'd expect for a laptop with that given spec. i7HQ processor, 8GB RAM, and a 1050Ti graphics card. Old and new games should be playable, but you'll be hard-pressed to keep a fixed 60 frames per second when playing newer titles. Priced at around a thousand US dollars, it's one of the cheaper options to those looking into portability and gaming. And it's currently priced at $972 at GearBest.com. That's after discount. Check out the link on the description box below.